Joe Biden's ongoing border crisis is hitting New York City very, very hard. Well, the mayor, Eric Adams, well, says this place is about to be destroyed and destroyed forever. Take a look. Month after month, I stood up and I said, this is going to come to a neighborhood near you. Well, we're here. We're here. We're getting no support on this national crisis. And we're receiving no support. And let me tell you something, New Yorkers. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. All right, in Queens, New York, well, residents there got a little preview of the coming disaster today. Local schools uh, were completely overwhelmed and inundated by the children of illegal immigrants, uh, forcing some students to move into overflow spaces. Now, apparently, schools were even handing out free backpacks, school supplies, paid for courtesy of New York taxpayers to illegal immigrants' children. And while the mayor and his Democratic friends He's out there blaming Texas Governor Greg Abbott for busing illegals into the city. Well, even the left-wing New York Times, they were forced to admit that it was around a little over 13,000 uh, illegal immigrants were sent up from Texas. The rest of them came from Joe Biden, his White House, uh, nearly 100,000. Anyway, joining us now to discuss this, and by the way, he may be holding... Let's just say, what do we want to call it, a bridge blocking? Uh, soon, former New York City Republican mayoral candidate Curtis Sliwa is with us. And, uh, Sean. Yeah. Soon to be the next mayor of the city of New York, because I'm coming after Eric Adams, who's destroyed our city. It's not just New York, though. It's every city. Yes. It's every small town, because they're being sent all around the country. All right, so... Well over 100,000 illegal immigrants. He says it's going to cost your city, because I hate this place, not my city. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here as soon as I can. All right. Your city is going to billions and billions of dollars, Curtis. That's a fortune. The city can't afford that. They're not even housing our homeless vets. Right. Okay. So now we've got all these children showing up in schools where barely 40% of the kids already are proficient in reading, writing, and math. Okay. Now what are they going to do with all these kids, most of which who can't speak English? How are they going to handle that? Sean, before you even get to that, there's a state law that says every child, I've had three sons in public school, must be vaccinated from A to Z, or you don't step in the front door. Now all these illegal alien kids, close to 22,000, no vaccinations, no medical record. We don't even know who they are. There's no, there's no paperwork. And yet they move to the head of the class and you say, why are we forcing American children to the back of the class? You wanted them in, Joe Biden. The Biden of Brooklyn, that was Eric Adams. Remember, he said, I'm the Biden of Brooklyn. Kathy Hochul, you say you're a sanctuary state, a sanctuary city. Well, take what you said you were going to do and do it or stop complaining. You don't need to be a sanctuary city because there's no law. There's no law that says that. It's not just education. It's food, it's housing, it's clothing, it's it, medical uh, help. All of that paid for courtesy of the taxpayers. New York can't afford this. By the way, Wall Street alone took, in the last couple of years, a, a billion dollars out of New York City. And that's just part of the exodus out of the city. There's been a mass exodus out of New York. And that exodus right. continues. Even with a second hurricane in Florida, you would think people would reconsider High property taxes, no flood insurance. No, people are still saying, we're going to Florida. The exodus is unbelievable. The buses go down, right, with New Yorkers, and they come back with illegal aliens. Yeah. So that's how they nourish the population. How crazy is that? You know, one of the greatest statistics I saw, because California has this mass exodus going on as well. Yes. Okay, and for the first time in their history, they're losing population. All right, everyone, go west, young man. Go to the Golden State. Go, you know, there's your opportunity. People are leaving because of high taxes, burdensome bureaucracy, all the reasons that we talked about, a sanctuary state, sanctuary cities all throughout uh, California. And people are leaving. As with it, the tax base is leaving. Oh, yes. 
Uh, now you see what's happening out there. And, and then you have people arrested and they're not put in jail. They put you in jail. Oh, absolutely. Well, and you they fingerprint me and photograph me like they did Trump and Giuliani. <laughs> I'm saying, for what? Uh, a desk appearance ticket? An illegal alien? When the cops arrest them, they don't know who they are. And immediately they say, asylum seeker, asylum. You can't touch them. They're untouchable. They can murder, rape, rob, steal. They're untouchables. They were sworn. They took an oath to the Constitution to protect America and protect us, the American city, citizens. They have forsaken us, forsaken us for illegal aliens. If you love the illegal aliens so much, go to Venezuela, go to Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras. Go out of this country to the places that you're inviting people in. And imagine if you happen to be those illegals and you're looking at this. You see, I can't believe the borders are open. I get to stay in a hotel, three squares, iPhone, smartphone. Oh, culturally appropriate food. Con arroz habichuela with a chuleta, a pork chop on top. And if I'm not happy, they send Grubhub. If you're an illegal alien, you're joining the invasion. And they are going to overwhelm us. I will not allow that. I am the mayor in exile, like Napoleon on the island of Elba. I will block the bridges. I will stop the buses. We will turn them around. Go back to where you came from. You don't belong here. You're illegal. You have held a number of demonstrations. You are now threatening to shut down the bridges in New York City. How real is that threat? Oh, very real. And you've seen this before. And it's truckers who are the most patriotic, the most American. The independent truckers, 18-wheel tractor trailer drivers, are willing to risk their rigs. They will block every entrance and exit. They will take the keys out, walk away, and say, tough noogies, you're not coming in to our city, our state, and our country anymore. If the politicians won't do it, the people will do it. Do you think a, a city like New York, and by the way, you did well considering, you know, you're out registered by Democrats nine to one. Yes. Do you think politically it would be possible for you to pull off a massive upset because of this issue and run against Eric Adams and beat him in New York City? Are enough New Yorkers fed up with this? John, I won't win the election. Eric Adams will lose the election because he has forsaken the voters, especially African-Americans who thought that to the victor go the spoils. He said, oh, we're going to take care of my people, the ones who live in the streets, who have drug problems, alcohol problems, who are in the shelters, are emotionally disturbed. The majority are African-Americans. They look at me every day. They say, Curtis, this guy stabbed us in the back. He's taking care of people. He doesn't even know what their name is, where they're from. And we are told to go to the back of the bus. She was Black's fought for years to get to the front of the bus. And their homeboy, Eric Adams, has put them in the back of the bus. And pretty soon they'll be wanting to go to Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, Texas, and parts unknown to get the hell out of here. Well, I think Curtis needs to come out of his shell. Um, <laughs> Great to see you, Curtis. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.